and gentlemen. That's her first leg, first leg, it's Priscilla to throw first. Game off. And Priscilla has the darts in the opening set, as always in the first round. Race three. to two sets, the winner of this match takes on Anka Zilstra, the number three seed, who was in attendance this afternoon watching the victory of Maraline Noyans in a topsy-turvy encounter with Amanda the Panda, while well, we're on the nickname theme, Amanda Harwood. Uh, but the standout performance, of course, Paul, of the women's draw so far has been that of Rihanna O'Sullivan, who was just next to flawless against Paula Jacklin. She was excellent, wasn't she? 86 average. Didn't put a foot wrong, really. Just looked really comfortable and ready to come back to the lakeside. Really good to see Rianne and what a lovely tribute it was for her parents, for her to go up there and play so well. Stunning performance. Rianne will play Corinne Hammond, who became the number two seed when Fallon Sherrick withdrew due to personal reasons and it was actually Priscilla Steenbergen who came into the tournament, the last player to enter it, 60. just a few weeks ago. She'll be determined to make the most of her opportunity. She won the Dutch Open girls title back in 2016, so certainly a player that is expected to carry on an upward curve in her career. And you suppose that Dutch darts in the ladies game has been carried by Helene de Graaf over the last five or six years multiple 100. WDF title winner in Erling de Graaf but before that of course we talk about a former champion here in Francis Hunselaar one of the greats of the ladies game she was the person who stopped Six. the Trina Gulliver streak Steenberg and one of four Dutch women in the field of the 24 player field expanded it's a decent percentage representing the Netherlands 44 Darlene Van Sluwen who's his name almost sounds like she is from the Netherlands. She's a Canadian international. She has appeared in the World Masters a couple of years ago. And does have a couple of ranking titles to her name over in Canada, North America. Yeah, one of them she beat in the final. Patricia Farrell, who made her debut here about five years ago, I believe it was. She lost on debut to Corinne Hammond on her way to the final, where she lost out to four-time champion Lisa Ashton. But I think 90. we're probably at that stage now, aren't Don't we, Murph, where we're looking towards the future to see where the ladies' game goes from here. Treble 19. Glancing to the left there, Van Sloo, and that's because that's where the scoreboard is on this stage. 47. You can see Priscilla, you require Priscilla just checking as well. Choices here for her, treble 20. It's aggressive. Maybe should have 42. been a little bit more pragmatic with the second and third darts. Yeah, slightly defensive. As we see the ghost dart from Van Sluwen. Something we see a lot from some people in North America, but that was a very unusual route on a 70 checkout move. I don't think I've seen that before. Two single 19s for double 16. Double 10 for Priscilla. 40. She's languished on double five. Double requires 60. And double eight. Double four, moving across, trying to get a little bit nearer to it. Shot on the first and that is as near as you can get to the double. Second leg, it's starting to throw first. You may have noticed a, diff a slight new thing on the stage. As you see players go across the hockey, she did it there just to get nearer to the double, but sometimes they do it to navigate block darts. But there's actually a longer piece of metal, longer than the width of the hockey itself, and that's to stop players encroaching step wide of the hockey. Yeah, it's the right thing to do because these players throw from seven foot nine and a quarter inch. You can see that Darlene is standing about a centimetre back. Some people prefer to be up against the hockey. But some people like to be free of it as well. I was always someone who didn't like to have my toes curled up against that raised hockey, but you can see that the hockey that they're standing at is straight. It's not curved. So if you go left or right, 
your throwing distance actually does increase. The memory serves me right. Is it Lisa Ashton who doesn't even tow the hockey? Leaves a bit of a gap. Yeah, because she is used to playing in Northwest England from eight feet. And Stephen Bunting, former champion in 2014, he was the same, but he used to stand all the way to the right hand side. We're reeling off many a big name that has had success on this special stage. We mentioned Gulliver, Ashton, Bunting, and Humpsalar already. But that's why these players want to play here, isn't it? To emulate the heroes that have been before them. The ultimate dream is not just to lift that trophy, but to have your name etched with those other legends. Trina Gulliver, 10 time champion, isn't in this field. Lisa Ashton, not in this field. Fallon Sherrick, not in this field. So, by that token, Murph, this is surely the best opportunity that Dita Hedman's ever had. Yeah, spoke a little bit about that with Tony O'Shea. This afternoon, Hedman, the number one seed for this title. And as Tony put it, she's won everything else and multiple times as well. 22. I think when Dita comes around and, and plays on this stage this week, we should laud her with lots of praise considering the amount of titles she has won in her career since the early 90s. It's quite incredible. Interesting switch there from Darlene going bullseye on dart two. As to why, ask me later. I need some time to think about that one. Steenbergen, not really showing the stuff that she's been producing this year so far. The top 10 averages, Paul, have all come in 2022. That's but a good sign. Shows some form coming into this tournament. Did see recently at the women's oh, series, no. made a debut at that PDC event, and put on some decent showings. In fact, saw a play Lisa Ashton in that. She won the first leg against Lisa Ashton. Ashton won the next four. Maybe she's just gaining experience at this time of her career. Bit of a practice start there from Darlene. That would have been unexpected, the 170. 60. Priscilla, you require 70. She may just stay there. To give herself a dart at tops. 50. Well, she's pushing that dart Darling through the air, isn't she? If that dart stays in the hand a little bit too long, it is going to fall short. Darlene now can't take the 110. So Priscilla comes back for double 10. You can see in the background, she's thinking. Got to stay in a nice process here to level things up in the first set. Priscilla, you require 20. Two tens. Well, she gets a pair of five to level up the set. I just thought she might have been feeling a little tense, but she kind of floated that one into the fives, and all of a sudden she's cancelled out the break, and it's all looking pretty for Priscilla. When you say Priscilla to me, I always think about Presley. Here's a little factoid for you. I used to live in East Sussex in England. Is that it? No, I've got more. There was a town called Rotherfield in East Sussex. Home to Lisa Marie Presley. True story. And she played for the local darts team. Another true story. Did she ever play Paul Nicholson? Never even run into her. 96. Would have been all shook up, I'm sure. I knew you were going to have a line for that one. Now, Darlene, who looks like she goes to the same hairdresser as Lisa Marie's mum. Well, it's an interesting point you make about the hair because the throwing style, yeah, the flight actually has to navigate its way through, back through the curls. She's in danger of losing the flight. It's the, the, thing, about, it's the thing about glasses, it's the thing about hair. Anything that gets in the way of that dart is an infringement of good technique. So you see the little flick of the fringe, it does play its part. 66. Not something that some players at the top of the game have to worry about. They're somewhat follically challenged. Jim McEwen didn't have that to, to fear in the last match. How good was he? Absolutely brilliant. And 
Pleased for Jim as well. He's a good guy, playing his best darts. Uh, a senior edge, of course, he does attempt to qualify for the, the World Seniors event. Yeah, there is a World Seniors event here at the end of May. Yeah, another opportunity to see darts on this famous stage. McEwen. Well, that first set, he just sent out a statement, didn't he, to the rest of the field. This is how I'm going to play and you're all going to have to stop me. I think everybody has to take note of that performance. Quite frankly, everybody tonight, everybody over the next couple of days, Jim McEwen is here to win this thing. 45. And one person who nearly won this thing was Jeff Smith, Canadian, of course, compatriot of Darlene Van Sluwen. He made the final and lost out to Scott Waits by quite a heavy margin, but to get to a final here, that takes some doing. 59. Excellent stuff there from Steenberg, and having hit a couple of ones, he stepped back. Gave herself the telling off, but stopped telling herself off before she threw the dart. Do you know why dart players do that when they've hit two single ones? It's because they don't want to score three. AC5. Priscilla, you require 150. Both players have a tendency to find a treble to rescue a scrappy visit. Saw Darlene do that as well with her previous shot, although she's not down to a finish. So we expect Steenbergen to go that aggressive treble 20 double 16 routes. And that's what she did earlier. Same route on the 72 well. Better to hit the five there, Priscilla, than hitting the treble 20, that's for sure. You don't want to go back to 92 if you're given a look at it. That if has just turned into when. Seven. Priscilla, you require 55. So, 15. Double top. Back on double five, the double she did hit to win. Darling, you require 100. The previous leg. Maybe it's a good thing. You always want to find a target that is reliable. 60 for Bull, the only route left. And Darlene fails to get the treble for that shot 45. at the middle. So double five it is once again for a 2-1 lead. Priscilla, you require 10. So yeah, and that's the problem, that's the difficulty. Darling, you require 70. Needing one. And hit the big 20, there is the go start once again. A practice swing, so to speak. Well, it's those 19s again for double 16. Big it's missed, ball. but I'm still racking my Priscilla brain for that shot. Ten. Imagine if she gets the treble at least 13 points. Change of plan. No it score. almost paid off. Darlene requires 16. Double eight for a 2 1 lead. Double four. Went across the hockey to open up the angle a bit more. Priscilla, you require 10. To no avail. Same. No score. As before. I was going to say, same option of one double two. No score. It's interesting, Paul, that she Priscilla, you opted to change the three double one in between those two. Let's see what she does this time. Well, she's gone three double one. No score. And back to double five. Darling, you, you can tell the nerves are on the stage. There's going to be a cheer in this place when this leg is won. And Sleewen at double two. It's a better guide. Double one for her. Two. Some shaky slinging going on Priscilla, you between Steenbergen two. and Van Sleewen. Another go at double five. Game shot and it's in. Attacked it. Good. Can't really say it's to first. that she held a nerve in that leg. I'm not sure either player did, but she persevered and managed to find that double that had caused her so many problems in the previous few visits. 
Excuse me, thinking you were making a talk about a whole lot of shaky slinging going on. Sounds like a Elvis Presley song. At some point in this match, someone is going to feel a lot less nervous and feel more comfortable with how things are going. And I was told by a couple of different people that Priscilla is quite shy. She's not massively outgoing. Likes to keep herself to herself. 100. And getting up in that lakeside stage in front of all of these people here, and of course all of the viewers at home, this is a big statement to what 100. you want to do and what you can do in the game of darts. Yeah, you can almost picture that just looking at demeanor in this match. But hang about. 140. She's a, a decent darts, but I also wonder if the, the style of Van Sluwen doesn't help Priscilla Steenbergen because the visits can often take varying amount of time. Sometimes she goes with that ghost start first, sometimes she doesn't, sometimes she stops and sets herself, sometimes she just throws straight away. Name me one player in all of Europe that does a ghost start. It's just not something that is done in this continent. You see it a lot in Japan, in China, the Philippines, Malaysia. You see it a lot in North America. So if Priscilla's never played against Darlene or anybody from that continent before, seeing someone have a practice shot is somewhat puzzling. But in sports, people take practice swings, practice kicks, all that kind of thing, but in darts, a practice start is, is very unusual. I'm puzzled by the unusual counting of Van Sluwen there. Darling she had 90 left and she went for a treble 20, then she had 70 left and went for a treble 20. Well, this is obviously on purpose then. Single four first. Ten or a six. Has she got treble six there? <laughs> She is trying to cast a spell on us with our calculators in our brains. Well, the one 2 is not going to go. Uh, which Van Sleewen's going to take us, well, she hopes, to the last leg of this set. But which way is she going to go, Paul? That's what we don't know. Double 10, double 4. The double 14 for Van Sleewen to take it to a decider. Working towards it, and in, and it is 2-2. It does have a, a bit of a similar feel to that match we saw earlier between Amanda Harwood and Marilyn Noyens. The pair were just going with each other, and it seems to be the case here. One of them has a decent visit, the other one does the same. One of them has a poor visit, the other one follows in kind. I think the scoring proximity for Darlene over the last couple of legs has been much improved since that really, really arduous third leg of the contest. Darlene's really found the inner ring. If she can maintain that accuracy on that treble 20, she is going to get a set dart. There it is. Early nerves potentially. She's starting to fix the scoring, but the doubling and the tactics has got me shaking my head and scratching it at the same time. We may not agree with some of her routes, but she won't care as long as she gets the two sets she needs to go through to the next round. And then in set play, there are some legs that are more important than others, and this one is the important one to win. This is what set play is all about. 82. It's not just about winning legs at certain times, it's about winning this leg at this time. You are going to be faced with this challenge more than once. 41. The one leg shootouts, they're the ones you have to win 21. if you want to win the title. Stimbergen in a good spot. Nothing to suggest that Darlene is going to step up 
Taylor the 154. So Steenberger knows, and she definitely knows now, that it's in her hands and she should get a dance, a double to win this first set. That's well, obviously going to be two single 19s for double 16. Ah, oh, conventional. Big miss at the single 20. So, Darlene, Darlene over to you. 94. What does 94 say to you? Which route do you want? Taking a time again. Ball first. Tops bull. Absolutely. Now, she meant to go that route. It's not the worst play. Priscilla, you it didn't work out, water. and Steenbergen can win the set here. Double ten. Now Priscilla Steenbergen does Steenberg. take the first set. It was a scrappy one. Both players at the lakeside, where Priscilla Steenbergen has taken the first set against Hannah's Darlene Van Sluen. Tony O'Shea said that he thought that Priscilla would come out playing better now, having managed to win what was a bit of a, a battle. She is looking to follow in the footsteps of Rihanna O'Sullivan and her fellow Dutchwoman, Marilyn Noyens, in progressing to the second round of the women's tournament, which holds a record prize fund this year, £25,000 on offer for the winner. There's another match in the women's tournament to come this evening as Suzanne Smith takes on Joe Clement in an all-English affair. That is the penultimate match of the night. After it will be one that many people have picked as a, a game of the tournament, Paul Hogan, Crocodile Dundee against the Australian, ironically, Justin Thompson. Mark Graham against Dave Prince coming up before that. And after this, Mark Barilli against another Canadian in Rory Hansen. How much work has this Canadian got to do, Paul, to get her game going? A lot of work to do, but the scoring has got to be as good as it was for Van Sleeuwen in a round leg four. I would have to say it, that's got to stay where she was in the middle of that visit. If she's going to be erratic, I think 81's got to be the kind of visit she allows herself with a few scores better than that either side. Steenbergen, you mentioned earlier about her escapades in the women's series in the PDC in 2022. I'm just looking at a performance she had with Chris Savory of Wales. And Steenbergen averaged 81 in that game. That's the kind of standard that you really have to have if you were going to worry players towards the back end of I this tournament. See. Sometimes in round one, you just have to get through no matter what your stats, but you will have to find an improved level after this. Yeah, well, Riyad O'Sullivan, one of the players who people think is a real contender for the title, and, I, and I'm one of them. She averaged just shy of 86 in her victory over uh, Paula Jackson. It kind of proves your point, doesn't it? Absolutely right. I can't let one thing slide though, Murph. I had a text during the break from a very close Holy friend of mine, Corinne Hammond, the number two seed. She's playing Rihanna O'Sullivan next, and she somewhat defiantly said, Dita Hedman's not winning this. <laughs> I was genuinely laughing out loud. Best text I've had all day. Was it meant just for you, or was it supposed to be broadcast? Might not be close friends anymore, Paul. Well, it's already out in the, uh, the data sphere. Well, I like defiance, whether it's in the male or female game. And let's not forget, of course, we have got a girls' tournament and a boys' tournament. And they'll be capped off next Sunday on finals day, where all the finals will take place on the very same day for the very first time. Fulton. Corinne Hammond herself, of course, a former finalist here at the lakeside. Van Sloan has come out and got herself down to a, a finish first. Darling, you require 119. 119, and it looks like she's starting on treble 20. No comment. It's a kind of old school, just keep throwing at treble 20 until you Priscilla, get you require down to a finish that you can work out, isn't it? It is. I think Priscilla's been more exposed to the top level of the female game in Europe than, say, Darlene has. 
and mistakes like that on 119 going 20s first they could be punished but Van Sleeuwen has got a shot at tops 32 saw a little flick of the flight it was maybe an echo from her dot that missed the northern double but Steenbergen has now got 85 left with two arrows left yeah she's not asking what she's got left she was asking where the dart had landed because you couldn't quite tell it was so close to the, the ring around Darling, 25 a bullseye segment double top then for Darlene to take the opening leg for set two Eight. For Stella, Steenberg and this single it's got to be right there. That's a great shot. Sandwich the two. 40. Just lost the height. And that is her miss, Murph. Darling, you require 30. That arm gets a bit tight. That dart does get under delivered. Now double 16 for Darlene. Now double 12. She's going around the houses. 20. Real opportunity for Steve Bergen. Require 20. Double 10 was a double that took her over the line in set one. Double five was the first double she hit, but it's also one that she had all sorts of problems with. No score. Doesn't mind busting to Don't go back to 10. And she'll feel like there's every chance that she might go back to it. Not a bad marker. That one's even better. Oh, that's a good shot. Darling gets the first leg of the second set. And this one could be going the distance. It's an attritional match. But if Steenbergen wants to get confidence from this game and a win, she's going to need to be more consistent when she gets to those final shots. You just sense that maybe she's a bit edgy when going for a first attempt at double, hoping it in as opposed to forcing it in. Well, if you are just joining us here, tuning in to watch the Arrows this evening, a reminder of the big takeaways from the Easy afternoon more. session, the opening session of the 2022 WDF World Championship. The young kid, the king of the castle, Jared Cole defeated the old king of Lakeside, Lakeside Martin Adams 2-0. Johnny Hayes defeated John Scott 2-0 with a very good performance and mentioned already the dominant display from Rihanna Sullivan over Paula Jacqueline. Ben Hazel defeated New Zealand by Puha 2-1. Andreas Harrison missed six match darts going down to the Romanian Laszlo Kadar and Marilyn Noyens defeated Amanda Harwood 2-1. And then this evening, we saw McEwen's marker, Jim McEwen, with the best display of the tournament so far, averaging 101.32 in a 2-0 victory over Landon Gardiner. I don't think we should underestimate what we saw earlier this afternoon because those performances from Johnny Haynes and Jared Cole were very, very good considering this is their first time on the Lakeside stage. But I think what Jim McEwen has done has shown us what is capable or what is you can actually be capable of if you put in the right preparation and he's had perfect prep for this the last three months well, that was amanda's army you just saw there all wearing the panda t-shirts there's going to be some sort of army for sue smith tonight she's got a lot of people here for her. there's going to be some noise during that game look at this there'll be some noise she carries on into this checkout 89. Couldn't manage it, but in a similar way to the first set, she's lost the first leg, but has put herself in a very strong position in the second. Now where does Steenberg go for the 63? Because she does have options. Priscilla, you require Trouble 13 is extra dish. Tops. That was a good try. Level things up in set two. Darling, you require 144. So gobsmacked at the use of the abbreviation tradish. Is that what the kids are saying now? Yeah, apparently. 
didn't do it very well. I apologize. 54. Priscilla, you require 20. We're here again. 15. He's had a, a personal battle with double Darling, five in this match. Winning some and losing some. That's the game of darts for you. 89 left with two. It has to be trouble 19. Doesn't scare it. Now, Steenbergen has seen five points plenty of times Priscilla, in this match. Five. She looked at both targets then. She did. Double one. No oh, score. Oh, closer with the single shot. Darling, it's almost like she wasn't sure two. which way to go. Yeah, she seemed to glance down at three and then looked up at one, found it. For some trouble there earlier. No that score. spells trouble. Because she misses a bow, and that means she busts a score. That's twice she's hit double 14 in this match. No score. Darling, you require one time to win a leg, one time to bust a shot. But she does come back for double 11 after that failure on the single number from Priscilla. Changes the angle. Ah, still has a shot. Double seven. He's checking 14. No Too many score. again. Steenbergen here for I think she should Priscilla, go for three. She seems to prefer throwing at higher doubles. She's missed the single one many times. What on earth am I talking about? She's gonna take it out. No score. Not this time. Darling, you but dark players 22. are stubborn. When they don't get something, they keep going back for more. The same avenue. It's double 11 once again. Game and Fang this time. 2 0 in the Manchester. second set for the Canadian. One more leg in this set and we're going the distance. Third leg is starting to throw first. Game on. Now, is this the best hairstyle of anybody today? Because it takes some going to beat the mullet of Swampai Kuba. I couldn't take my eyes off that thing this afternoon. That, it was glorious. Is that what it was? Well, he didn't play very well. Twenty something. Well, it's been a, a weekend of darting mullets, hasn't it? Danny Janssen winning a, a PDC Pro Tour event. A Dutchman sporting a throwback 60. hairstyle. Yeah, Danny Janssen is someone who I've labelled as looking like every hockey player from the 1980s. And of course, Canadians love a bit of hockey. 96. She's from Ontario, so she might be. Now, I emphasise might because I know how offended Canadians will get if I get the wrong team. If she's from Ontario, she's probably a Maple Leafs fan. 30. While well, we're on the subject, and have been on the subject during this match of legend of the lake size it would be remiss of us not to mention 45. the great canadian that is john parts darth maple himself yeah well said it's a nice little segue as well yeah chris because i don't think we've had a men's draw as open 41. as 1994. do you remember back then first Lakeside after the split with the WDC back then and we all thought that the 94 championship was wide Six open three. Yeah, it was and it was taken by someone by the name of John Park that year Beat the great Bobby George in the final who had 57 what was diagnosed as a broken back in that final after he took out Magnus Karras in the semi-finals that was the opening to the world where international players started flocking to the lakeside. We started seeing winners like Raymond van Barneveld and Tony David. Yeah, part was the, the first ever overseas winner of the title. A couple of overseas stars going at it here. 41. Darling, you require 100. Go to some countries around the world and they just live and breathe darts. Canada's got a great heritage in this sport, but maybe not in the female game yet. 
51 first for Van Sleeuwen. I just wonder if she'd got that if it was two bullseyes after. 77. Priscilla required. Found tops for the last start, has left herself handier than it would have been. 53. But this is for a. Uh, Darling, you require 70. Whitewash set. She may go treble 20. Now she's gone the conventional route this time. She nearly went treble 20 and bust a score. I'm starting to think that maybe Van Sleeuwen is a bit of a soft tip player. We'll talk about that in the next leg because Steenbergen has found what I think is one of her best legs of the match. The main reason for that is that she took care of the double a lot quicker than some other legs she has won. So she's still in this second set. But when we talk about soft tip darts, we see a lot of players in North America and the Far East playing with computerized dart boards where the tactics are very different to steel tip darts of which this is that game. People can finish on trebles, they can finish on the bullseye where the 25 also counts as 50. Yeah, there are a few players in this tournament who can tell you all about soft tip darts and one of them is Leonard Gates, the American ace. Soldier he's called, that's his nickname. Hey, what if I bumped into a soldier? I'd just say, Yes, sir. Very good dart player. Yeah, do you know why he's called he soldier? Ball. I don't, as a matter. He turned up after work. You know, you'd have played darts in the, in the local leagues back in the day, and he turned up after work because he was running late. And all his Six mates said, What's going on here, Len? And you look like a soldier, and it just stuck from there. <laughs> Great story. Nicknames should be inadvertent, they shouldn't be too manufactured but DVS or devious I think is one of the best ones I've heard this year 45 and Leonard Gates will play the winner of his fellow American Kevin Luke or the muffin three. man himself Steve Hine I wonder if Steve's gonna bring his apron his hat and the muffins because he brings the muffins I think he's gonna get a lot of fans do you know the Muffin Man? The Muffin Man. The Muffin Man. What was in Steve Hine? <laughs> you obviously don't know the song. 44. Yeah, you'll have to fill me in. Give us a few bars if you want. I don't think we've got time. No. Nobody wants to hear that. Steenbergen again finds two single ones and doesn't want to score three. Yeah, she'll get a 57 now. 22. The risk getting the three this time. Darlene seems to be slowing down on the scoring and she's trying to use different parts of the board now. That's a good sign for Priscilla. 76. She's got six darts from one to minimum. That would really inflate her confidence if she can do that. This is better. 100. Good turn. She was two legs down in this set, but she's working towards parity. And may well. As unlikely as it may have seemed just a few moments ago, look at this from Van Sluen. Using all of that 19 segment apart from the big bit. Well, in a game of so half it, mate, you get treble, double and single, you get a bonus extra 100 points. Not in this game. Darling's last goes 102. 37. Little insight into how the referees do their counting there. Darling, you require a silent fashion, but firstly, the lips don't move. All right, one, two, three. It's as easy as ABC, isn't it? For the set. She's trying to work out the route to go. That wasn't it. So, as I was saying before, Steenbergen now has so a chance to restore parity in the five. set. And move within a leg of the match a match that looked like going the distance maybe done in a couple of sets because Steenbergen finds the target a nice clean finish as well fifth leg is starting to throw first and to be honest in this match having the throw hasn't mattered judging by the averages and all of the stats that we have in front of us with this game yes that's true it doesn't but what does count 
or the last two legs being taken on tops quickly by the Dutch lady. Now, if she can get another shot, she will genuinely believe that she won't need much to get over the line. A little bit of trickery there from Steenbergen. Just about to drop the dart, but somehow twizzled it in her hands to make sure it didn't fall on the floor. She wouldn't have been penalised for it, but just goes to show that she's got some darting dexterity, that's for sure. 60. Priscilla plods on. And how she would like to wrap 96. up the match in this leg. And we'll see it over the course, solve the neck. Nine days here at the lakeside. Matches can be almost won, and then all of a sudden, players will feel like they've got to start all over again. The got beauty ask, of set play, isn't it? Absolutely. I've got to ask you a question about the ladies' game. Five. We've seen many a great female player on this stage, but what's your favourite female nickname? over the course of the last 22 years. Well, I, I've been a big fan of Amanda the Panda Harwood this afternoon. Well, I'm going to go for a different sort of mythical creature. I know that pandas are real, but they're somewhat mythical. Uh, but the Pink Panther, 99. Zoe Jones. I was a big fan of Zoe Jones. Great player. And I just really want her to get back into the game. Super player. Yeah, it was an interesting one, commentating on a panda with a silver back next to me in the commentary box. I heard your pun at game. Very silky. But all is, all is not lost. Maybe that was the wrong play there from Steenbergen, going for the 20s, covered 60 bed. You can see the frustration. There were options there. Go down to the 19s, go to the bull and 25. And now she does have six starts and one eight four. Earlier, when she had one eight two and six starts, so much she hit a ton. But you can just see from her complexion that she's feeling the pressure here, being only one leg away from victory. Yeah, determined to get it done now. She, she isn't playing near her best, so she wants to get it won to to just bring an end to it and forget about this game and move on to the next one in the second round. 59. This will be some way to do it. It will be highly unexpected. Just needs to get under 100, I feel. 46. Can't do so. And I'll be Darling, really interested years. to see where Darlene goes for this. Well, she gets it right, but I think she is playing single, single, double a lot of the time. Yeah, she's playing fundamental darts. She's not backing herself on the travels. She's trying to keep it really simple. I think you're right with fundamental, Paul. Some of the routes are both fun and mental. 45. Darling, you require 40. This. To level the match. Double 16 for the second set. 16. She leaves herself on double 12. Steve Bergen, who said, wants to get this done in this leg. 57 remain. She obviously likes tops. She's hit it twice in this set. That single leaves that double. 23. Priscilla can't pin it this time, and now all she Darling can do is hope. 24. Van Sluen can't hit a double either. Game but she can. The second set. And we are going all the way in this one. The final set to decide whether it will be Canada's Darlene Van Sluwen or the Netherlands' Priscilla Steenbergen who takes on the number three seed, Anke Zilstra, in the second round. 47. And I think it's fair to say that Zilstra won't have seen much to concern her so far. Yeah, I think that's very fair for Anke. She has got experience. She hasn't Six done a three. massive amount on the big stage to date. Could be her week. And both players are certainly performing 26. well below their capabilities in this match. But what that does do 
brings you a bit of bad scar tissue even if you win the game. 120 both points. Player, both players will leave the stage feeling like it was a struggle. And the winner may take that into the next match. It may not. They may have a, a perfect mindset 41. and be able to reset it completely. We don't know. Well, Priscilla is now in a bubble of negativity because that dart at tops for the match at the end of the last set. It was a bit hopeful. It didn't dip. It didn't find the target by nearly an inch. But the fact of the matter is, she was 40 points away from winning this match, Mer. 60. She's now 1,503 points away. And that's minimum, because if she wins three legs to nil in this set, that's 1,503 points. It might well be 2,505 or something 100. close to that. I'll take your word for it. And maybe I shouldn't have made that point about... Scar tissue to you, Paul, because didn't you rock up at the Players' Championship Finals back in 2010 and win it, and then never win another match in that tournament? Correct. Well, if you're going to win it at an event, you might as well get them all the same week. This is true. So 130, and Van Sluen has won the opening leg in each of the first two sets. 55. He's going to have plenty of time to make this 1-3-0 disappear. Ninety left. There's one dart. Treble eighteen. Forty-one. Nope. Wasn't the last time I was wrong. She's obviously got something in her mind about going for the treble twenty un until 84. the point where she can't anymore. Darling, you I've got a theory. I'll share it with you after this visit. I'll share it now. Basically. If the score ends in nine, she goes 19s. If the score ends in zero, she goes 20s. Earlier when it ended in one, she went for the treble 17, going for the 51. There she was going for two tops. 69. Priscilla, you require 106. Arguably the right thing to do. 54. Would have left double 16 for the first leg of this set. 36. She's visibly Darling, you require quite upset 20. about losing that second set and not being through to the next round but Darlene needs double ten after that fabulous guide she doesn't get anywhere near it Priscilla you require 70 Dean Bergen can reset and refocus and it's that double top again oh, and she was oh so close Darling, you require 20. That was close. A lot closer than a match dart. She missed. And now it's double 10 again for Darlene. I don't know where that is. It doesn't matter. No oh, maybe score. it did. She obviously hit the single Priscilla, six. Priscilla, you require 20. Single six. But now can't finish. No score. And again. Darling, you require 20. Two tenths players going for two tens. Ten. Well, the second and third darts weren't badly thrown. Priscilla, you require 20. I think Priscilla's been dragged into a war here. Double five, familiar territory. Game shot on the first and good. Time. Well found by Priscilla Steenbergen, who takes the Second first leg of the last set. First. And we have to say Game at this off. juncture, Murph, that there is no tiebreaker. It is simply the best of five legs in this set to win this contest. 60. I think there are arguments for both. Tiebreakers can make great drama, but certainly with the amount of games needed to we played this weekend through the first round, it would have been difficult. 125. To go into extra time in any match. And of course you definitely get a sudden death leg, don't you, if you don't have a tiebreaker. Absolutely right. We saw that. 85. PDC World Championship about 16 months ago. And that resulted in 16 matches 
throughout the tournament going to the last leg decider it just created drama and I think this is a great move by the WDF maybe we can talk about the actions of these two dark players because a somewhat old school action from Darling Van Sleeuwen it's very much a, an organic action a prod forward the draw back and then the hand crunches together before she throws the dart whereas Priscilla Steenbergen's got this beautiful back and forward motion. Yeah, uh, hardly any follow through with Darling, is it? Yeah, it's a prod. Reminds me slightly of Lorraine Wynn Stanley, the way she just flicks her wrist. Yeah, Lorraine Wynn Stanley, if everybody's watching on, curious about some of the best stats in the female game. Lorraine Wynn Stanley is the only player in history in a world final to have had a hundred percent at doubles when she lost to Makuru Suzuki she had two shots at double got them both but lost the match 26 Priscilla you require 150 Bergen. producing the better stuff when it matters and she might produce the best stuff here double top for a tongue topping check out on the second line. and that is perfect Priscilla from Steenberg. Priscilla who moves once again to the brink of victory and now she first. reacts and now the shy and retiring Steenbergen is showing who's boss this is much better isn't it maybe she just needed proof of what she can do on this stage that 115 checkout was exemplary if this girl believes in herself she can play really well she's got a great technique you can Tell she's a bit nervous and a bit shy, but if she comes out of that shell a little bit, we've got a dark player. 50. Yeah, we've seen her twice in the last couple of legs. Hit two treble twenties with the first two darts, threatening to fire in a maximum, and then she takes out that brilliant 115. 100. Just get the feeling that. Despite the fight from the Canadian, 48. Darling's battle is well and truly run. Not yet. We thought that Steenbergen would win at the end of set two. 60. You can never count out a Canadian, that's for sure. But someone's got the bit between their teeth right now. 81. That's this young Dutch lady. She's talking to herself a little bit more now and starting to believe that this one is in sight. And in contrast to the way she felt at the end of set two, Mur, I get the feeling that looking at her now, she's ready to run through the tape as opposed to letting it come to her. Even the bad visits now are things like 59, which aren't bad darts. It's just three singles. Yeah, she'll be feeling much, much better now. She won't be feeling perfect until she's got a two next to her name in the set column. 100. Well, that's a tenth score of more than 100 in this match, including the 115 checkout that she took out to put herself in this position. It's amazing watching the change in the players. 57. And how they express themselves. Priscilla, because there was a the time in this match where she was looking very annoyed, very unhappy. She's looking really happy now. Game and she's completed shot. the, the clinical last Priscilla couple of legs to win the match. Priscilla Steenberg and taking out 115 and 74. Back.